are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. Also, check out the join button. We do have channel memberships. You can support us on a monthly basis for as low as $4.99 a month. But let's get into this, folks. We told you guys before, when you get woke, it will never, ever be enough for the woke brigade. Okay? Now, we know that the NFL, they have went woke. Not NBA level woke, but still they have went woke. Uh, yesterday, the first full day of games appeared and there was some levels of wokeness displayed for the anthem. Some teams, you only had one player kneeling, only one Cowboys player kneeled, and that was Detari Poe. Um, some other teams like the Ravens, they had like probably like half of the teams. You even had a coach kneel also. And probably most likely fans are probably tuning out the NFL. I'm pretty sure that Rhodes would actually do a video on the ratings whenever we get those in. But um, we are here to really talk about former 49er Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick, you know him. He is super duper woke. Not only is he woke, he's also a communist as well. And he is now ripping the NFL for pretty much not being woke enough. He's pretty much saying that the NFL is virtue signaling because he actually put out a tweet here. I'm going to read it here. And he's ripping the NFL. And also he has some kind of kind of a conspiracy theory about Eric Reed. OK, so this is what Colin Kaepernick tweeted out. He says, while the NFL runs propaganda about how they care about black life, they are still actively blackballing Eric Reed for fighting for the black community. Eric set two franchise records last year and is one of the best defensive players in the league. And he was actually uh, replying to a tweet that was put out by Deadspin, who was basically saying that uh, Eric Reed is getting blackballed. But to kind of talk about what Colin Kaepernick was tweeting here, he's, he's probably right on one thing here. The NFL is definitely probably running propaganda on this. But this is what Colin Kaepernick wanted, right? It's pretty much the same thing that Cap is actually doing as well. Virtue sittling. That's pretty much it. We know that the NFL has in racism in the end zone and it takes all of us in the end zone. But uh, we all know that that is just just fake wokeness. That's all it is. But still, the NFL did it. The NFL even came out and apologized to Cap twice that they didn't listen to him. It's still not good enough. Players now have decals on their helmets. Black Lives Matter. Not good enough for him. I do believe some players even have um, like Breonna Taylor's name, George Floyd's name on their helmets. It's not good enough, good enough for cap, you know. But the NFL. They're going to be alienating, alienating their fans over this. And this is pretty much why they did it, because cap they believe was right. At least that's what they say. Now, I do believe that the NFL is publicly virtue signaling. I don't have any doubt about that. But to address his conspiracy theory about Eric Reed actually being blackballed from the from the NFL, I don't know about that. I really really don't know about that because for one thing, if they wanted to blackball him, why was he still in the league? After Cap wasn't in the league. I mean, the guy played last season. OK, he played last season and to call him one of the best, one of the best players in the league. I don't know about that. One of the best de defensive players in the league. I don't know about that. OK, because Eric Reed has not made a Pro Bowl since 2013. That is seven years ago, folks, seven years ago. So how is he actually being blackballed? OK, I don't get it now. I'll, I'll kick also mentions this here. OK, ha ha. Clinton Ditz started 16 games in 2019, just like Reed. And he's unemployed and he's a year younger than Reed. Earl, Ch Earl Thomas. Who's 31 coming off a 2019 Pro Bowl appearance. 
and he's unemployed right now, now too. Neither one of those guys are in the league right now, okay? And we know for sure that Earl Thomas is a much better player than Eric Reed. So Cap, I believe, is just going to continue to put out these different conspiracies and things like that, and I'm pretty sure he's going to continue to rip the NFL. And to the woke mob out there, they're going to be saying that, that uh, Colin Kaepernick has also been blackballed from the NFL. No, that's not true. He's been given opportunities to come in and work out, but Cap wants to do his own thing, and SJWs are never, ever pleased. When has Colin Kaepernick been pleased with something? It's been a very, very long time. And each season that passes by, he seems to get more woke, more woke, more woke. The man does not want to play football whatsoever. Now he's throwing around these conspiracy theories about players being blackballed and also the the NFL pretty much virtue signaling, and I do agree with him on that. But this is what happens when you get woke. You're never woke enough. You are never woke enough. We see the same thing when it comes to these uh, SJWs on Twitter. They cancel each other out because it's never enough. You cannot please these people. So the NFL, I honestly believe they need to take all this stuff off of the, uh, the end zones, you know, in racism. It takes all of us. It's virtue signaling. We know that. And racism is, Overall, folks, let's be honest. There's six billion people here on the planet. Over six billion people. The United States has like, what, 320 million people? Trust me. There's always going to be some level of racism. But overall, man, racism doesn't really exist. Not the way that the woke mob believes that it does. Okay? This is all political now. This is an election year. I've talked about that on my channel. Rhodes has talked about that on his channel. This seems to only come up now every four years. And it's a false narrative. Police aren't out there killing black people whatsoever. And the only ones that are really getting shot are the criminals. That's it. But, of course, you know, the woke athletes, the NFL, they don't want to talk about that. And, of course, the marches in via China, we know how they are. Now, the NFL does not have Black Lives Matter on the court. But some players do have Black Lives Matter decals on the helmet. Now, from the games yesterday, you know, I didn't actually see any of the protests at all because I guess the game started, you know, it just pretty much went to um, the games. Um, If it did, I, I missed it. But I did see some protests, you know, from highlights and things like that. I'm glad that I didn't see it. I probably would have been infuriated uh, on that. Rhodes was very, very disappointed with what happened at the beginning of the Cowboys game with the, uh, the national anthem. It was something that was going on. I don't remember exactly what he said. Maybe he can address that, um, in another video himself. But anyway, guys, what do you think of this Colin Kaepernick ripping the NFL for not being woke enough, throwing a conspiracy theory about Eric Reed being blackballed. I don't agree with that at all. I'll kick even gave you the facts here. Ha ha Clinton Ditz is still out there. Earl Thomas, he's still out there. And those guys are just better players right now. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.